welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2014 makeup look. I looked up all of the makeup. I tried to like look up the pictures, but I really couldn't find anything. So I actually had Saul on Pop Sugar. She explained exactly what she did with the makeup. So that's what I based this makeup look off of today. So if you wanna get the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show makeup, then keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. <laughs> okay, so today I'm gonna try out this primer. It's from Benefit. It's the Stay Flawless 15 hour primer. And it's, it comes in a stick form, which is different. So I'm gonna try that out. Now I'm gonna put my Primetime Bare Minerals uh, primer cream on, and this is in medium. For foundation, I'm using the Cover Effects in G40. I'm just gonna apply that with a beauty blender. For my under eye circles, I'm using the Smashbox High Definition Concealer in Fair Light. I'm just gonna use the other side of the Beauty Blender, the pointier side, to apply it underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna go to on the sides of my mouth where it gets, it has these dark creases here. I've also been using my um, darker concealer in medium dark from Smashbox just to contour a little bit. Okay, so I'm done with my foundation and concealer and I let that dry for a little bit before I set it with the powder. So now I just move on to my brows. For the brows, I'm taking the Brow Zine from Benefit, and this is in medium. I'm gonna apply this to the sparse areas of my brows. Try to keep this away from the areas of your brows where they're already kind of full, because if you put it all over your brow, it's gonna look a little bit too overdone. So if you do it this way, this evens it out. And then if I have any mess ups, I just take like a concealer brush, and then I just wipe away the um, mess up. And then I go over with my spoolie to just evenly distribute the product throughout my brow. To set my foundation in place, I'm gonna use the Hello Flawless from Benefit. It's in the color beige. For my under eyes, I like to use this Mana Kadar um, brush. And I don't know, it doesn't have like a number on it or anything, but it just looks like this. And I'm gonna apply some of this shadow from the Zoeva palette in Pure. I'm gonna put that under my eyes. And now I'm just gonna contour a little bit. I'm using my City Color Contour Effects palette, I'm using the contour color in my Zoeva face paint brush. Now I'm gonna highlight, and I'm so sad to show you this broken highlight. This is in the champagne color. It's from Tarte. It's in the Park Avenue Princess palette. And I just got it, guys, so I'm so upset that it broke the first day I got it. But I'm gonna go back and get a new one so that you guys can see a really pretty, nice view of it next time I show it. Um, but this is a beautiful highlight. It literally looks like you're glowing from within. Like, I know a lot of people say that, but this one truly looks like that. So the first color I'm going to use is 
Force of Nature from the Tartlet Palette, and I'm gonna apply this onto my lids, going all the way up past the crease, and just blending it out really nicely. So now I'm gonna use the um, Zoeva Metals Palette, and the color that I'm picking up here is Rusty Steel. This is pretty much the color they use throughout the show. So I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid and blend it upwards, but not going past this first color we used so that we can have like a gradient effect. So here I'm just going to lay down that same color on the inner part of the lower lid and blend it out with a fluffy brush. So this year they're all about the inner corner highlights. From the Ipsy Glam Bag, I'll be using the Kaylin Cosmetics Just Mineral Eye Polish in the color Orchid. It's highly pigmented satiny powder and it has a nice long lasting staying power. For the highlight, I'm going to use this matte bone color. It's called Free Spirit and I'm gonna apply that directly under the brow bone. So for my liquid liner today, I'm using the Smashbox Liquid Pen Liner, and it's pretty easy to use, and I think it's a really good liner, um, but I messed up today, so I got a clean angled brow brush, and I just cleaned up the edge, and it gave me this like really sharp, perfect line. So if you ever mess up, just use a clean angled brush and just clean it up. For my lashes, I'm gonna use the Miss Adoro in number 46. I'm actually using two sets. So I'm taking these two and putting them together like this and it's gonna give us a nice, full, flirty lash. So to apply the lashes, I'm just gonna drop them onto the center. And sometimes my tweezer gets attached to the lash. So I'm just gonna let it sit there and then apply the attach one side at a time. This one and then this little guy. And here I'm just patting on a bit of mascara to the tips of my lashes to mesh the false ones with the real ones. To intensify the highlight in the inner corners, I'm going to take this Sigma Loose Powder in the color Ravishing and just apply it right to the tear ducts. A black gel liner to the waterline just to elongate the eyes a little bit and add a little bit more definition. For the lashes, I'm trying out the Tarte Deluxe Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I'm excited to use this one because it's Tarte's best-selling mascara, and it's supposed to lengthen, curl, and also volumize your lashes all at the same time. So I wanted to try it out, and I think it works pretty amazing. To add moisture to my lips and also add a sheer wash of color, I'm going to use the NYX Butter Lip Balm in Parfait. So next I'm using the Tarte Glitzy Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint and this gives us the rosy glistening shine that the Victoria's Secret models had on the runway. For the cheeks, I'm going to use this Tartlet Celebrated color. So I was reading about how the makeup artist did their makeup and she said that blush seems to be really underrated and so she really emphasized on the pink cheeks for the fashion show. She did mention she did apply a little bit of bronzer on top anyways. So since she went over with a little bit of bronzer, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use my Park Avenue Princess bronzer and just take a little bit of it right on top of the blush. To add some shine to my hair, I'm going to use the Sexy Hair 450 Degree Blowout Spray just to add a little bit of shine. And you can use this actually um, before you blow dry your hair so that it, it has like a heat defense in it. So, oh, and it smells really nice too. That is the final 
look guys let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget if you like this video then give me a thumbs up if you missed my last two videos check out those two boxes below one is my last video the other one is my vlogmas video on my other channel that i'm doing every day until christmas and if you tweet me don't forget to check out your tweet to the side see if you're up here this week and that's it i love you guys so much until the next video bye dolly